Hey everyone, welcome to another Tech Talk with Tomer. I'm your host, Tomer. Uh, and today we continue our stellar tech journey with some of the engineers that make it all happen. So with us is Jake Urban. Jake is the tech lead for partner engineering at SDF. He's been involved with many stellar integrations throughout the years, and most notably the recently launched MoneyGram Access integration. Hey Jake, how's it going? Good, glad to be here. Awesome. So before we go uh, into deep into your work at the SDF, can you tell us a bit about yourself and how you ended up in the SDF? Yeah, so um, I actually graduated college in 2018 and was originally working in, in the AI space um, in the Bay Area, um, but I got involved in cryptocurrency in 2017 and started to get a lot more interested in the technology um, and was looking for a new job and, and was particularly looking in the crypto space. So um, what originally drew me in was just all the really impressive you know people here at the SDF when um, when I started you know talking to to recruiters here and, and I just got really sucked in by the mission, um, the quality of the the engineers here I knew I could learn from from folks and um, so I joined in, in late October of 2019 and um, I've been here for about two and a half years now. Awesome. Uh, you know, clearly the person who hired you had amazing foresight. Right. Uh, so great. That's awesome. Um, OK, so let's uh, by the way, that's me uh, just for the for the record. So, you know, let's let's dive directly into uh, the recent MoneyGram integration, because a lot of people are really interested. Um, you know, the premise of this is that you can take your Stellar wallet to a MoneyGram agent around the world and turn your fiat cash into crypto and vice versa, which is super exciting. And from a technical perspective, what are some of the challenges in such an integration or how is it different from other integrations that you've worked on in the past? Yeah, well, I think the the obvious one is that MoneyGram is a cash agent network, right? And so a lot of the other integrations we work with are um, using some kind of banking rails. Um, so, you know, a lot of the issues that we had early on in the process, a lot of open questions, um, and even still today, the, the things that we're focused on is making sure that the user has a good experience, you know, at the cash agent as well. So that's definitely a factor uh, that definitely ties into how MoneyGram systems work and, and the implications for how they are compatible on the Stellar network. So that's definitely one thing to keep in mind. Um, I also want to just point out that MoneyGram has been in the business. They're a very you know established you know uh, you know player in the space, and getting them to you know understand crypto, and get engaged with the concepts on Stellar, um, and you know actually create a really functional, robust application was something that um, you know took took some time. But now they're you know fully up to speed and you know very gung ho on all things Stellar. So it's been good to see that that transition, but, you know, it definitely took some, uh, some education and some, uh, some, you know, mistakes along the way. Yeah. As someone who also worked in this integration early on, I can definitely attest to the fact that, uh, when you have like an agent network in place, it's a completely different story because, you know, updating software is, uh, is, or a software stack is fairly easy, but updating a stack that has a human in the loop is very different because now you actually need to train these agents and you have you know someone showing up with a stellar wallet they don't even know what stellar is right so you have to educate these people uh so i think one of the really interesting things about this integration is that it is a difficult hard integration but uh the benefit is enormous so that's awesome so let's say that I'm a wallet or an exchange and I want to integrate with MGI Access. So first of all, why should I integrate with MGI Access? Uh, you know, what does it give my users and uh, how do I go about doing that? Yeah, so I think like the biggest benefit is just the coverage that you get uh, when you integrate MoneyGram Access. We're going to, you know, MoneyGram is providing, you know, cash out uh, functionality across the globe in pretty much every country you can think of. Um, with some exceptions. And then, you know, for cash in, there's a, you know, at least several handfuls of countries that are being supported today uh, with, with many more on the way. Um, and so just from a coverage standpoint, uh, as an exchange or a wallet, you're going to be able to, um, you know, provide a fiat on an off ramp to your users uh, where you probably couldn't before um, or, you know, couldn't before with the kind of cost effectiveness that MoneyGram is providing uh, with this uh, functionality. So, that's primarily the, the the biggest thing. The next thing is that you know Stellar USDC is a, a very you know cost effective you know form of of payment, right? So when you're cashing out, 
if you're using Ethereum, you're going to have to pay gas fees, right? If you're using Stellar, you're going to have to pay, you know, Stellar fees, which are, you know, uh, cents. So, or even smaller than cents. So it's it's a pretty compelling argument from a financial standpoint and a coverage standpoint. Um, and then you also kind of get the benefit, and we can talk a little bit more about this, of, you know, kind of diving into the interoperability of Stellar, right? So MoneyGram is implementing SEP24, which is a standard uh, protocol for, for you know, deposits and withdrawals on Stellar. And when you, you know, integrate MoneyGram, you're also effectively adding compatibility with other uh, Stellar anchors. Uh, and you're, you know, basically building a roadmap for uh, integrating other partners um, as well. Um, so you get, you know, a lot more bang for your buck than, uh, than, than what you're doing originally. Got it. So let's say that I have uh, a, a, an existing Stellar enabled wallet and it has a SEP24 integration. That means that I am uh, effectively have done or most of the work that's required for the integration? Yeah. If you're compatible with SEP24, MoneyGram is very down the line on the standard. Uh, they don't do anything custom. Uh, so if you already have a SEP24 functional wallet, then you're definitely compatible. And it really is just a means of connecting the dots. Awesome. And what are some other uh, SEP24 on and off ramps available on the network, just so that our audience get to learn? Yeah, we have we have some pretty good coverage across the globe. I mean, so there's, um, you know, end tokens in Brazil, uh, if you're looking to off ramp BRL. Um, there's also Settle uh, in Argentina um, and Mexico, I think. Um, and, uh, and, you know, what, what else do we have? We have Stably in the US. Um, we have... Uh, what else is there? I mean, that, that's that's definitely some to name a few. There's there's more out there. I think uh, is Tempo still uh, operational in Europe? Tempo in Europe, uh, ClickPesa in Tanzania and Kenya. So uh, you know, there's a definitely good coverage, and it's only increasing, uh, which is pretty awesome. One thing that's really important here for uh, for folks to understand is that the this MoneyGram integration is not about remittances because a lot of people think about MoneyGram solely in the context of remittances, which are like these bi bilateral transaction uh, transactions, cross-border payments, where here what uh, MoneyGram is doing is they're utilizing their existing infrastructure, but allowing it to be used as a generalized on and off ramp rather than specific for remittances. Now, if you want to build a remittance uh, product on top of that, that's great. You can do that but you don't have to. You can just enable access to your exchange, exchange uh, to, your, to your wallet, to your app, uh, and just like on and off ramp directly to and from cash, which is pretty damn cool. Um, so uh, MoneyGram aside, can you tell us some more about the things that you're working on, Jake? Yeah, so um, I'm the partner engineering tech lead, which means I'm primarily focused on uh, you know interfacing with partners and making sure that the Stellar Development Foundation's you know, technical teams are in line with, you know, a lot of our business initiatives and making sure that uh, we're, you know, building the correct things. Um, if we find new patterns in, in partners and in their needs that we're developing something in-house for them, uh, just making sure that that connection between business and engineering is, is really tight um, as we you know, provide more solutions to partners. Um, one of the main things that we're working on, and actually MoneyGram was a huge catalyst for this, uh, is something called the Stellar Anchor Platform, um, and you know effectively what MoneyGram built uh, was what they call an adapter service, right? So they have um, you know an existing MoneyGram set of APIs that uh, were in some stage of being public, some you know stage of being internal, um, but they wanted to you know make these APIs you know power the Stellar on and off ramp that they are ultimately going to provide and do provide today. Um, this adapter service was built to be compatible with SEP24, to be you know compatible with the Stellar ecosystem standard, uh, but map behind the scenes to uh, internal APIs or internal services that they already had existing. Uh, and we found that this pattern is pretty common, especially in you know established businesses that already are in the you know financial space. Um, and so what we are doing and what we've built, uh, it's an MVP, it's in an MVP stage right now. Uh, but we've essentially generalized that pattern. The Stellar Anchor platform is effectively a set of services um, that you know map the Stellar standards that are compatible with all the existing players in the space, uh, and allows you to to kind of plug in your existing business logic or existing financial services that you already have, uh, so that you become compatible with that network and with with that ecosystem. Um, so. That's just one thing that I'm, we're working on, and uh, there's a lot of engineers behind the scenes that are actually doing a lot of the development. Um, I'm just talking a lot about it. That's great. Someone needs to do the talking. Um, awesome. So, 
you know, anchors are these um, organizations that provide on and off ramps uh, in the network, interoperable on and off ramps. And what you're saying is that rather than have to implement a set of APIs, you could just take this software package and it does all the kind of like plumbing and, and glue code for you. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, the Stellar ecosystem standards are really valuable when you don't have a set of APIs already. Um, you can just build this API and you're automatically compatible with the rest of the ecosystem, including MoneyGram and many others. If you already are in in the space, you have APIs, you're already a player in, on some other financial rails, if they're traditional or other crypto rails, then you're, you know, the, the, the value you get for adding another API is still significant, but it's additional work. Um, so this Stellar Anchor platform is meant to reduce the amount of effort you need to make in order to be compatible with our Stellar standards. Um, and, you know, just allows you to kind of, you know, put the minimum viable effort in to get the biggest bang for your buck. That's awesome. Are there any other exciting projects uh, that you look forward to? Um, well, I think, you know, something I haven't heard a lot about, I've been following loosely, but obviously I'm very interested in the smaller, uh, Stellar smart contracts. Um, you know, I think there's a lot to do there. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of exciting use cases that we can can build there. So I'm, I'm definitely interested in that, but not directly involved. Um, there's uh, a couple different things that we're working on that I actually don't think I have the uh, authority to, to mention on, in this talk, uh, but we'll definitely be talking about soon. Um, I have to do a lot with, um, you know, bulk payment processing um, and a lot of the other exciting stuff. So, right. Uh, and dare I say, equitable access, a lot to do with equitable access. Definitely. Awesome. OK, uh, thank you for joining me, Jake. Uh, that's uh, about all the time we have. Uh, have a great weekend. Thank you. You too.